Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, Righty ho, for this video we're going to start doing some floors. Okay, but I'm going to show you a couple of floors um, with trying to resolve the issue of having veneers and especially, okay, for Australia and New Zealand market especially, possibly um, United States, this whole issue of brick veneer. Okay, and trying to get a slab concrete footing to um, behave itself around the bottom there. Okay, so gonna look at a couple of different options. Okay, just to sort of give you choice, I suppose, as a Revit technician as to how to um, deal with these sort of things. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna set up um, option number one. Um, which will be just doing a plain old floor. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my architecture tab here. I've got my floor here, and I'm going to go floor architectural. Um, I'm going to go into my generic floors here. I've got a generic 300. The the type of slab that I'm dealing with or thinking of is around about 300 millimeters deep, so that's what I'll use. Okay, I'm not interested if the hatch is incorrect at this stage. Okay, so what I'm going to do there, actually I'll use my, my rectangle tool and I'm just going to do part of it actually. So I'm just going to go down here. Okay, I'm just going to do this segment here because it's just an explanation at this stage. Okay and I'm going to make sure it's on the ground floor plan I'm going to go left click okay so with that in mind now I'm going to go and have a look at my section okay okay first things first I've got this big thick black line here okay if I hover over that I can see that I've got my levels there if I tap the tab key Okay, there's my imported re these my imported um, CAD file from way earlier. So I'm just going to go. Uh, I'll go right click, hide in view, and element selected. Okay, so that helps me understand what I can see there. Right, so here is the floor that I've just built. Okay, and as you can see, it's only a small segment. Okay, but the floor itself goes dead flat all the way over here. Okay, now if I reset my brick veneer wall like that, there's my floor there again. Okay, now for those again, Australia New Zealand market predominantly looking at brick veneer walls. What we need is this effect here. Okay, we need to see the brick coming down and the cavity coming down past the timber frame here okay and the idea for that is that moist bricks are semi-porous believe it or not okay what will happen is that water will travel through the bricks it'll permeate through as vapor and um, etc permeate through the bricks we don't want it to go in there inside so what happens it goes in this cavity it drops down here okay into this little pool pond here and it can exit via weep poles. Uh, weep poles are where we um, don't put any mortar between the bricks. So it's basically a hole between the bricks. Okay. But when I do that, you know, and I drag this down to whatever level I want it to go to, I get this really fugly line here. Okay. I see my floor there. And if I go into 3D, Okay, and there's that little part there. Again, I see, we start seeing issues. We start seeing the floor and the brick wall sharing the same plane. And for all intent purposes, it's really ugly. Okay, it's not a good finish. It's not very architectural. Um, if I have a look at the, uh, probably the east elevation. There we go. Okay, another quick tab. Let's hide that hiding view, hiding that little thing in there. Okay, there it is again. There's my floor 
there's my brick wall and I've got this thick black line of where the floor is okay so it's not working very well however it is a very very quick solution okay to um, get things done so what do we do to um, counter this okay um, there are a couple of options okay and um, we'll start going through them in the next video so until then we will see you later